the Property PLS blog. Welcome to the thorough and full presentation of the www.propertypls.com, the home of unconditional creative writing and critical thinking. Let us all create a humongous caliber of creativity and profoundly philosophical dispositions. What is going on viewers? I want to welcome you to the multifaceted channel. All of you fans and all of you English language fanatics such as myself, such as you and such as everybody else in the world. I want to be able to thank you dearly for your subscription, for your support and your dedication to this channel. And today it's special and pretty much of a breakthrough. Why? Because I'm going to be introducing you to the one of the most authentic blogs out there. To provide creative writing and critical thinking in the sense of philosophy. So please bear these two points in mind as of right now. Creative writing and critical thinking in the sense of a driven mindset which is philosophy. So without further ado, let's start and crack open this website. So depending whatever browser you're using, I happen to choose Mozilla Firefox. So any one of them, Google, Chrome, Opera, as long as you're making a search, you're just doing fine. Click on a new tab and you type in www.probitybls or just probitybls.com as you can see right now. Once it pops, it kind of looks like New York Times magazine or website at the same time. And I, had, and I chose this theme on purpose because it looks appealing and breathtaking. Sort of to say, at least to me. So, and in got no logo here, just property BLS. So underneath it, there's a black stripe that says what, what, what the website has to offer. You got news, and if you scroll down here, you'll see that we are we are already actually on the uh, news facade. And you got books, <laughs> and this is just something else. As badly opposed to to the bad south so introduction, a category which I added here just to talk about books, and this is uh, my very first novel which I added here. And this is just a summary, by the way, we'll get to, to this point later. Now, you have originality, and this is the main backbone of our speech today. You have creative writing and critical thinking, and then you have simplified stories. Later on you have our community. Two sections as well. Featured figures. And these are the writers our Property Billas community stand for. Big shots like Alexander Duma, Mark Twain, uh, Charles Dickens, Elizabeth Gaskell, Jane Austen, Dostoevsky, and these figures. And then you have featured writers. Just a few people that are contributing to our uh, Property BLS com. And now we have dissertation, this is just another topic to get to later. It's also another good aspect in the website, thanks to some people who have contributed with their dissertation, their memoir, college memoir. Another good aspect we'll get to later. And lastly is the about us. So before I make my quick definition, you can also reach out to this uh, tab here. You click right, you open another tab so you can read some of the uh, <laughs> aggressively vulgar stuff about what the property BLS stand for you know our disposition and and the things that the blog has to offer of uh, the variety of articles and the variety of topics to get to or if you're familiar with the website for a few minutes like 15 or 20 minutes of reading a few things uh, you can just click on the search button uh, you just uh, go down with keywords and it'll make your search quite easier from then on it's a lot better that way and right now back to the originality tab here great so as I said before sec two sections and creative writing and creative thinking is the one we're going to be focusing on like I said before these two points should be bear in mind why specifically because this website stands for philosophy and these two points right here they're all about philosophy and they are wrapped up in philosophy they are hemmed in by philosophy's predicaments and all that great so it says here originality and to my opinion it's up to snuff that is to say much of the things you're going to see here are practically written by me so a quick definition each given article is to standardize the prominent and clear attachments of the philosophical intentions given for writing any of the articles in here and my point of view is quite simple uh, whenever a writer or even a rookie let's say or even a prospect probably someone who let's say drafts their own ideas or mindsets uh, they don't even write at the time i used to uh, write a whole lot of things but my teacher said that you're only drafted uh, and i did uh, now nevertheless uh, when drafting comes up from originality of the ideas and the mindset it's obviously for the better since these writers have something in mind 
and because they stand for something it's definitely big grounds uh, those grounds should be certain caliber should be certain value and of course certain sense of power and deep orientations uh, and it, it doesn't get anywhere than philosophy and just another quick thing before we start uh, and that is when I created this blog in 2019 or probably by the end of 2018 uh, it's just for every one of you to know is that I started with the idea that everybody could post anything they like in this website okay so uh, as long as it's philosophical as long as it's unbelievably deep and profound and all of that so and surely as a sign that I that I am to grow this community a lot more bigger than ever I mean creative writing is the modern weapon which stands for the grounds at least that an entire nation needs as of the uh, brave new world of today if you know what I mean great so and I have a great contribution by the way which we'll get to later and it's uh, you're going to be shocked it's going to be amazing so our big boy today you come right here and you click uh, and, you, and you please you have to choose both sections and I will tell you why later good we start with the first one create everything we click and open it in a different tab as well as simplify stories as well great first thing that pops to you here and I, and I, I don't think you should mind this property be less popular posts here because they're just part of the theme you just focus on the first page that pops to you here and you'll find things that that used to occur to me as crazy as you might think they are they are that crazy believe me here you have third work kills zeitgeist you have uh, performance comparative literature black metal versus judaism and by the way the extreme aspect of uh, music metal is so prevalent in this website and I will get to later of course and we have some of the things I have concerning being amateur and its role towards philosophy and leadership we have part 1 leadership and dilettantism in philosophy and you have leadership and dilettantism in philosophy part 1 and 2 here and you have Aristotle's causality it's just a few ideas I had on his causality and I and I happened to create a, an article about what he, what he said and we have Lydia Amir's take in philosophy seriously it's her 2018 or 19 I guess I'm not sure uh, book uh, it talks about modern aspects of uh, academia and philosophy and what you need to know is that if you can google it real quick Lydia Amir is, uh, is still a living philosopher until now she has amazing books and I love this book so much I decided to write an article about it uh, and it talks uh, specifically the contradistinction I should say it's not even paradox contradistinction between philosophy and modern figures of making research like uh, academic philosophy and uh, traditional philosophy and the way they're having this combat this collision is just crazy it's a crazy book I wrote the article about this and I feel so blessed I did nevertheless we have another crazy article which is geopolitics and philosophy part one geopolitics and philosophy part two as crazy as it gets, I had certain ideas about geopolitics and I directly linked them to philosophy. So yes, a lot more crazy than you might think. And now we have the first part. Uh, yes, this was the second part. Uh, the second part is a, is a crazy story too, which was a PhD test, which I didn't prepare myself to. And for as well, uh, it was, uh, was about comparative literature and I said, why not? I've been spending years listening to black metal and I said, why not? I paid attention that there were lots of Jewish gods and whatnot, so I said it might be comparative literature thing. So there you have it: performance, comparative literature, black metal, Judaism, and as they link to the to to one another historically a lot. So you have the part one, you have part two, part two still uh, more deeper vision concerning modern bands like uh, Vatan, like uh, Behemoth. It's just crazy about music here. Great. Now we skip to page two. Just a slow connection, I can see. So bear with me, please. And still, we have dozens of crazy stuff. And by the way, what you see here, my hometown, Jelfa, my hometown, Wurgla, here, just the thing I'm go I, I said is going to shock you, so just bear with me as we go through these ones first. Still, you have other more stuff to go through. We have a brief aphorism on literary criticism. It's just another thing I had in mind. We have siren state of mind that speaks against dominant regulations. Just an idea I had concerning the sense of apathy, the sense of not not being able to do anything in the world. I I couldn't I couldn't deal with it personally, so I decided why the hell not? Let's write an article about that, about those uh, 
aspects, let's say. We have against the flow of apathy, inertia, pictures, nostalgia, all of them crazy stuff, all of them. Dictums in philosophy, senior citizen consternation. I had a few consternations and fear myself concerning senior citizens. So I decided to try something concerned in their status in the world here. Which is something I really, really feel uh, considerate about, I feel concerned with and all of that. Alrighty viewers, a while ago I said you had to open both tabs concerning the originality section. First it was creative writing and critical thinking which we just underwent and now it's the simplified stories. If you could remember, I had you open both uh, tabs, just a second, yes, creative writing is done here in a completely different uh, browser. Now we'll jump into the uh, simplified stories and judging from the title it's for simple stuff. Still, they do have place for them here at the cradle of property BLS for unbelievable and unconditional craziness concerning anything that goes on philosophical uh, pattern. Alright, so first thing you have here, high school momentums never die. I really really got off on writing this little article, although it's nothing. I'm thinking about growing this very little thing into a whole novel. God damn it, I'm excited. Now. Uh, simply self simplify story story is for simple stuff as you'll find great things here and like I said before in the dissertation section I said that there was a third friend who contributed with his uh, dissertation but this one it was uh, let's say broken down into other segments so it's not just a put together uh, dissertation it's uh, one article after another thank you so much my, my buddy if you check one of these articles here what is tragedy what is comedy absurd characterization uh, just anything concerning uh, you'll find the, the name goes by uh, that goes by Abu Bakr or something uh, that's his name that's his uh, dissertation it was a great review and the last dissertation is g it goes to by my name here just a second. It's concer it concerns itself with the Arabian Nights, sort of to say, and was also uh, dismantled and divided. It's not put together in a whole uh, in a whole dissertation. Otherwise, it would have been put in the dissertation section. Nevertheless, you still have this. Jimmy Alexia, the behemoth changes for the better. It's a story I wrote about 12 years ago when I was still drafting at the time. Oh my God! Uh, it's a great deal. I just proofread it just recently about two years ago you can have a read on it it's nice it's uh, it's all about decency perseverance concerning the story you have my friends gothic reflections uh, in Arabic but translated in English by me it's a great story so you see the simplify section has uh, little to nothing because uh, I'm still welcoming those who is simple stuff okay just no big contribution so far so please help me guys grow this thing together I'm so excited we made this uh, English breakout concerning the property BLS blog. So folks, I have got things ready for you. In which I opened a completely different tab and I chose all of them of all of the articles that matter exactly to the website. Uh, as you can see here, starting from creative writing critical thinking section, here I start with third work kill zeitgeist. And just a little trivia about everything that matters to me and to the blog as well. Uh, third work kills archive, what do you have to think when you see this one? Creativity is dead. See this little picture here, this little section? It always tells you the kind of views, the kind of commentary, uh, the one that wrote the article, on what date and what time, uh, social media, Facebook, Twitter and all of that. Uh, still with the uh, popular posts appearing everywhere. I think you should take it easy on that one too. Uh, just a little cool thing down here. You got tags. The more I text off, the better they are re read elsewhere. You have this this amazing little aspect here. That allows you to switch from an article to another. It's a lot better. You'll always see it whenever you get into an article from another. You have this little one here too. You switch from an article to another as well. It's a lot better. It's a cool theme, I'm telling you. Thank you, New York Times. Or New York Times replica. See, you have a little commentary by our friend Jelani. It is the one that, I'm go that I said was going to shock you with some of his contribu contributions to this website, sorry. And you also have a little section here where you can leave a reply. You got your email address, your name, email, your concern. I never had dozens of concerns, which were always supportive, thank God for that. And you post a comment and you're all good to go. So without further ado, I want to explain this word to you, Zeitgeist. 
right in this section here, zeitgeist. Theoretical zeitgeist to me is just uh, it's a philosophical term which I had in mind for quite some time. I've written uh, a little uh, some a little trivia here for one of my students. She's a brilliant student. She's a she's a philosophy fanatic such as myself. So here here it is: traditional philosophy versus democratized philosophy. The thing I said exactly about Lydia Amir's take in philosophy. So there you have it. The definition for zeitgeist, my own definition, and I will show you Google's definition. The collection of thoughtfulness and its vast orientations of a certain period of time and of a certain people or group of people. Okay, let's check on Google's definition. Zeitgeist says like the defining spirit or mood of a particular period of history as shown by the ideas and beliefs of the time and that is to say of the people of that time. Great. Okay, so back to the tab where it's all filled with uh, specifically picked articles. We're going to be having trivias about them, as I said before. So we have comparative, performance, performance comparative literature. Sorry, black metal and Judaism. I said before, uh, I'm a huge fan. I'm an ardent, ardent fan of extreme metal. You see the music they say it's uh, about devil worshippers and everything. I don't believe in that. Believe me, folks. So there you have it. Without further ado, 2019, there was a PhD contest here in Wurgla, uh, and I won it in, but I had no sense of revision whatsoever. And our branch or specialty, I should say, was comparative literature at the time. And I said to myself, uh, I think it's high time I wrote something about black metal and Judaism. Seems they so came together every single time. So there you have it, part two. And here I was specific concerning modern bands like behemoth like uh, Vatain la and other genres like uh, death metal uh, it's mainly extreme metal and and they're uh, and the relevant sorry that they concern themselves with Satanism as you can see here so part two concerns itself with modern bands uh, part one where's part one just a second there you have it part one is just my first initiation of the very subject matter and its relevance to comparative literature itself, or literature itself. So there have a part one, part two. Uh, it's a great read, by the way. And if you have some something similar that looks like it, so the why not send it to me? I'll leave the, l the email, the link, description below, so you can leave me stuff that concern this subject matter. For example, if it happened to be similar to what I've written here, great. And then we have a little trivia concerning uh, some of the theories I have concerning being an amateur and its role towards uh, philosophy. So you have leadership and dilettantism in philosophy part 2. Uh, quite frankly, I do not recall what I've written here, but to be honest, uh, I've had my outline uh, shattered away, I don't know where, is it, where it is by now, but you all have it here, being an amateur towards philosophy, what it means like, and what it stands for, and all of that. So this is the... Great, so this is the second part. And now this is the first part. So I've apparently we have a lot of parts. It means we have tons, uh, thing, tons of things to discuss concerning leadership and being an amateur, which is dilettantism, just a noun, plus the prefixism, in philosophy. They're all in philosophy, generally speaking. Good. Now geopolitics, like I said before, I also had my own concerns concerning geopolitics, and I directly link them to philosophy. <laughs> it's all about philosophy in this place, and it's all about crazy originality. This is why one of the this is why Probity Bilas is one of the most authentic blogs uh, here uh, according to me. It's very personal, it's not that famous but I'm working on making it famous. So please help me if you have all of your Algerian uh, writers, rookie prospects, if you have something I'll leave you I'll leave you the email in the description below. We can just grow this community together. It's all for free. Just contact me, we'll grow uh, a community that is that is strong, that is uh, sturdy, that is powerful, and all of that. Great. Geopolitics par in philosophy part two, and there's also part one. So we talked about them before. I mean, whatever that comes to your mind concerning geopolitics, it's all right here according to a uh, uh, novice theorist, I should say, this about myself. Now we have a brief uh, aphorism or literature criticism. So literary criticism to me is also a big deal. So I said 
why the Hanol there's always an aphorism concerning everything and by aphorism I mean like a small statement or like a final uh, dictum concerning uh, something that has been wrapped up something that has been assessed or examined and things like that siren state of mind that speaks against DOM regulations is also uh, what has been bugging me for the past five years so far since I graduated in 2017 it's just a lot of things concerning monotony and not being able to do anything concerning orientations or your uh, personal uh, investment into careers and all of that so I've written things about them silent state of mind that speaks against dominant regulation it's quite deep uh, judging from the title picture of nostalgia I am a nostalgic person I can tell you that we'll get to that part later against the flow of apathy and inertia it's also concerning monotonous uh, daily life daily activities and, and all of that dictums in philosophy or aphorism in philosophy there's also something heavy concerning all of them you can also read it later it's uh, it's a good read you can also help me with w with everything you're seeing right as of now folks english fanatics if you have something that looks like it uh, just please text me on my email let's grow this community together we need this so much and we have senior citizens consternations like I said, I have my own fear and consternation concerning serious citizens, so here's something about them. Something about their status in the world, if I should say that. Great? Good. Okay, now back to the our uh, big boy section, creative writing, critical thinking. Great. I just want to show you a little thing concerning, uh, uh, let's say, most dominant aspect of the blog which is music as I said I'm an ardent extreme metal fanatic fan and, and all of what you can say you can call me that for example here I have a uh, also another contribution concerning extreme music which I made as you can see here in the property BLS popular post here it always pops in this uh, place it's called disembarking black metal let's check it out you open a different tab just a second great there you have it, folks it has about uh, it's a decent amount of views it's over 300 which is good so this embarking black metal as you can see starting with the prefix from the verb embark as leaving a place or wherever to me black metal has changed a lot since the moment it started it was uh, traditional black metal now it's melodic death metal as it stole so much from death metal doom metal, and many other genres it became something else it's losing originality if I can say that. That is why I wrote, uh, sorry, I thought of making something about the things I happen to admire so dearly, which is extreme metal. Another second point which I happen to like too, as you scroll down here, uh, oh my god, tons of things I wrote concerning disembarking about black metal. I don't even recall, I don't remember. So, uh, just a second. It said Heiko Langan's tribute great let's click on this one and check it out these things are dear to me and just to let you know viewers folks writers novice writers uh, Algerians everybody in the world uh, if you have something that is dear to you like music stuff you can also help you can also send them to me it will help this community grow uh, like uh, unconditionally okay so what you have here is a uh, is a gothic metal band called draconian uh, she's called the Heike Langens, uh, and I wrote this article concerning her, uh, let's say, uh, debut in uh, the band's, uh, I'm not sure what number of, of the album was that, but it, it's a 2015 Sovereign, uh, Sovereign, I think Sovereign 18, Sovereign 20, I don't know the, uh, the title of the album exactly, but this is it, yes, Sovereign 15, there you go. So what I did here was a bit crazy. I listened to the entire album, one hour and eight minutes, and I wrote this little piece of art, at least according to me, as I was really, really s uh, drowned into her vocals, into her voice, into her power of cosmic stuff and all of those gothic stuff, uh, as she sang throughout the whole album of this draconian band. It's a Swedish band with the genre of gothic doom metal, so it's always about uh, crazy stuff things that people allude to as satanic uh, music it's not uh, we'll get to that part uh, in many other videos as of right now great so you see you have disembarking black metal something that is dear to me there was a product about it Heike Langens 
uh, South African uh, German vocalist uh, there's also something about her which is a dear to me kind of a thing I love this uh, vocalist, she's an artist I love her stuff, I love what she did so far so I wrote something about it so I need you to write something about what you like too and send them to me because for instance viewers uh, I'm opting these days for writing things about death metal, things about doom metal, these are genres by the way concerning uh, what came first as uh, extreme metal music Okay, so I thought about writing uh, sludge metal for example uh, and it's an extreme type of music that is concerned with uh, the people of the south as we call them in English between brackets, hillbillies and rednecks I happen to admire that uh, that uh, kind of metal too, stoner metal, doom metal, uh, sludge metal, for example. I might be writing things about bands that contributed to the genres in the first place, which is brilliant too. So if you happen to like some genre of music, and if you thought uh, maybe you can uh, contribute philosophical and deep stuff according to you or dear to you, uh, why the hell not do it? Let's get this thing going. Okay, clear now. Now we're going back to talk about the point that said that there was going to shock you, and it's right here, still on the popular post on your right. Uh, as you can see, my hometown, Wurgla, my hometown, Jilfa. Okay, so uh, if you maintain this page, fine. But I think if you go back to the to the main page or home page, I should say, you'll see the that uh, that there's a, a small picture called Soul Reflections. I think just a second. Okay, yes, it's right here. It's underneath the epitome of evil in the Armada town. Great. Soul Reflections, Poems about Life by Jeleni Birish. Okay. So, and we still have the, the same picture for my hometown, Wurgla, my hometown, Jilfa. Here is just a small contribution I made back in 2019, and which is writing a few things about your dear hometown, the place where you grew up, the place where you were raised. And you write, uh, providing that you write uh, your product based on nostalgic stuff, based on uh, philosophical orientations with things that are powerful and just too much goddamn melodic and everything. Uh, too bad, unfortunately, no one contributed but this sweet person from uh, Jilfa uh, who happened to be a, a high school English teacher who goes by the name Jeleni Beer. Okay, so he was done with the idea. He wrote this, my hometown Jilfa. If you click on, uh, on this article, you open it in a different tab, you'll find that he made amazing contribution with me concerning this one. Still, uh, since he's a poet and everything, he just made another contribution. And all his stuff is going on Amazon right now. This is his first poetry book. He still made other, uh, I think about two or three, he just recently told me that. Uh, in English, of course. And they are soon, soon to be available here on Property BLS. So let's go and check Soul Reflections. And then we'll get to the hometown experience. As you can see here, my idea was simple. I wanted to help him concerning his uh, promotion of the book, the poetry book. It was already on Amazon, but I wanted, uh, let's say, his uh, peers, friends, and family to know that uh, there's always a good hand that helps you uh, become a writer and everything. I said, why not? Let's come up with the, uh, let's a little, a little trivia, I should say, concerning his book. And I broke it down into manageable segments, philosophical segments, I should say. You see? It, it, says here, it, says, it says hit Amazon or Google and type in Soul Reflections more about life. The first thing you get, the first uh, link in the Google is this title. Soul Reflections, poems about life, blah blah blah, all of that. I made a little contribution and I broke down his stuff uh, into, I think, about uh, four chapters. Yes, I made four chapters out of his poetry book. It's a great success. He said he's... Uh, he was going to co to provide us with uh, some of his books, so just recent books, poetry as usual, and I will do the same thing. So if you have things that you want to co promote to them, and it's absolutely for free, guys, just so you know, okay? We're just willing to uh, grow this community together, honest, candid, and stronger, sturdy as hell as ever. Great. Uh, if you have things in mind, you have uh, books, probably but maybe poetry books on Amazon if you want to promote them just contact me guys I will make uh, a thorough uh, breakout for your books and like uh, philosophical uh, breakout of course and I will help you promote your book 
and you do the same to me and we grow this community together it's just all about property BLS you see property as stands is a is a hardly defined definition for uh, honesty okay so here now let's go back to the my hometown Wurgland uh, Jilfa or the hometown experience okay let's click on my hometown Wurgland it's where I grew up it's where I, where I was born see and I couldn't find better picture than this Oasis I believe it's located in Wurgla for real and we got over 300 views okay so if you check on my hometown experience here it's written by me the date the year and the views right so what I've written here is practically a goddamn deep goddamn deep stuff concerning the uh, uh, the qualities I had as I grew up uh, as I marched every place as I attended uh, uh, places as well school people I met when I first call first finished uh, uh, my Bachelor of Arts when I first my master degree and all of that it's all put together in this article and it's so deep believe me I always write with convoluted sentences or convolution it is one of the uh, techniques concerning writing so my buddy Jelani uh, he was done with the idea too and he wrote my hometown Jilfa and who's following all of the things I told him nostalgia should be there philosophy should be there and he did that too and what a great c uh, contribution he made and I can't be happy uh, I'm sorry more than happy with the things he did so far still waiting for his books and still waiting for your books guys or things you have in mind please never hesitate to uh, reach out okay so another primary point to the last point if you scroll up you click on property BLS and get you back to the home page okay as I said before there were tons of surprises here and by that I mean the, the recently added uh, sections here such as dissertation here we tackled books, we tackled originality, we tackled... Uh, right now we're going to be tackling dissertation. So if you click on it, it'll get you uh, to this page right here, which has about three, four, five, six, seven. Great. So we have seven articles here. And by dissertation, I mean memoirs, college memoirs. Thanks to three of my friends. We'll get to the third one later. Uh, so just a quick trivia here. Uh, just an idea I had in mind and it worked for me because some of my friend, some of friends uh, kind of uh, they were okay with the idea of giving me their articles uh, sorry their dissertations here and like uh, to help other uh, other stud other college students sorry to work on their uh, memoirs and everything so it was a great turnout by the way thanks to them and thanks to those who found great ease at taking sources from this blog and specifically from these uh, two very little as apparently here uh, yet very uh, efficient so you have two very famous uh, stories here we have uh, George uh, what's his name uh, yes George R. R. Martin or uh, George uh, Raymond Richard Martin who is a famous author for the series of epic fantasy A Song of Ice and Fire and one of my friends uh, decided to come up with a dissertation about that uh, made up of uh, three chapters as you can see second dissertation is made up of three uh, sorry it's four chapters you can see right here it's uh, a very famous author as well Ernest Hemingway's and his deal of masculinity uh, in the Garden of Eden I think it's a story or novel I don't know I'm not interested in Ernest Hemingway's I'm not interested in George R. R. Martin's all of these uh, modern literature figures nevertheless it's a great contribution as you can see dissertation so please any one of you college students who have uh, graduated or left college long time ago if you have a uh, dissertation memoir that can help other students uh, in getting the resources and not cheat or make plagiarism just at least to teach them how to paraphrase uh, especially if you have the great sense of philosophy or writing uh, philosophical deals and everything please help me contact me get me your di dissertation memoirs we'll uh, post them here we'll help other students get uh, original sources from our very very uh, environment alright so back to the last point if you scroll up uh, you just click on probability BLS here just to get you back to home page it's all I'm asking for here folks right you find this uh, this little newly added category called books you click on it you find a little section here with or one product that, that 
it sounds like a, a book cover, front and back, entitled as the epitome of evil of the Armada Town. And what I was saying before about the uh, bad uh, self-introduction by that, I meant to say uh, uh, me, of course. Uh, I never uh, properly introduced myself, and uh, as a freelance English teacher, I also work for a, a local publishing house located in Batna called uh, Al Muthaqaf. Uh, publishing house or Dar Muthaqaf as you know it's very famous here in Algeria and I work for them as a as a freelance sorry and for them as well too as a proofreader and an amender and a translator as well but only from Arabic to English and I've made five uh, works with them okay this is my first uh, official novel that is literary philosophical fixated and orientated up to snuff like I said it's all about originality and breakthroughs here so, uh, published in 2020, I participated in this novel in, uh, in the recent National Book Fair in March in Algiers. It was a, an unbelievable turnout. I met with great gifted writers here in Algeria, and I was so goddamn proud too. Uh, oh my god, I can't believe it. Uh, there were young uh, students and college students and uh, high school students too, uh, that came with uh, English reflections, German reflections, uh, English books, English novels, over 200 pages, such as this one right here before you, The Epitome of Evil and the Armada Town. Uh, I was amazed we have gifted writers in Algeria. Uh, so please guys help me grow this community together. Uh, it should be the most sturdiest, most powerful uh, blogs here for the aspect of creative writing and critical thinking. So without further ado here, as you scroll down you'll find the summary of 29 chapter, which is what the book has. In general, so I said to myself, "Why not? Let's revive the website since it's dying and everything." At the time, right now it's not. Uh, it's going just great, uh, and it's go and it will be more than just that. Thanks to you, of course. Uh, here you have apparently more than a summary. You see, one chapter takes about uh, one page and a half, I guess, in A4 A4 Word. Uh, chapter one until chapter. 29 so this is just for those who cannot reach out to the book they can still get to know a lot more about the story uh, judging from this section here and the summary you see the entire summary of the novel it's right here uh, as there will be more books coming soon in the near future as I participated with the second one throughout uh, a banner and the third one is going to be written just soon enough okay so more books will come in the near future same thing for you guys, same thing for you viewers, writers, novice writers, novels, any one of you. Guys who have books on Amazon, please help us grow this community. Uh, and I'll promote your books for free. Uh, you, you please do the same thing for me. And pretty much not just for me, it's for us, all of us, Algerian writers here. For Probity BLS is grow this biggest platform of creative writing and creative thinking without boundaries. It's just unconditional. So finally, and oh my god, we've gone too far deepening our discussion, viewers. Great, nonetheless, I'm so happy I'm sharing this thing with you. Uh, I've finally done it, and ain't no time for a long you know, bond, ain't no time for procrastinating one's duty or one's onus, O N U S, so Google that out, towards doing what we like, of course. So, hell yeah. Please subscribe for more videos as of, uh, as of this very special section. Uh, hit thumbs up, and make sure you never hesitate to send in your stuff like I've, like I've been saying before and off we go for a bigger community of creative writing and critical thinking so vigorously and now that you've seen it all ain't you excited what the heck are you waiting for get your stuff ready and let us get it over with and sign the petition and vow of creativity and philosophy so long goodbye